Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. We are in Christmas in July and I am going to share a new stamp set that I just received. It's so darn cute. It's called Trucking Along and yes, it has the little truck. I did, I colored mine, but you can also stamp it. So I'm going to show you both ways and it has a punch that goes along with it. So this is the punch that goes along with it. Um, I'm not sure what the name of it is. I'll put it in the description here, but it does come as a bundle with the trucking along, of course. It comes as a bundle. And this not only is for Christmas, it is for all different holidays. It has like a pine, uh, not a pine tree, a palm tree. And it has some little presents here. It has little garden like it little has little pots with flowers it's got these flowers a tree and then you can add these flowers as well which i think these go on here i haven't really played with it much i've only had it one day so yeah it, it's for everything but it's so darn cute and it has a bunch of different sentiments as well so this is what i'm using today you can actually build the truck just punching it out because there's a like a windshield here not a windshield but a window for the side window these are for the wheels and this is for like the area around the wheels i don't know what you call that i'm just not a car girl i guess i'm sure some of you know but anyway that is how you use that and so this is what I'm sharing, this little treat box. Isn't it so darn cute? It's small, and but you can fit quite a bit, and you can fit some things that are larger because it's taller here. So I thought it was really cute. I hope you enjoy it. And this is what we're going to make today. So what you're going to need for this is a piece. I'm using cherry cobbler and shaded spruce. If you've been around, you know those are like one of my favorite Christmas colors. This piece is five by four and a half. And I'm making it easier by just using the stitched rectangles. So I'll tell you the sizes of these pieces. So I cut the smaller ones for the designer series paper, which this is from our Bright, no, our Regal collection. So it's this, and all our color families come in these designer series paper pack, the six by six. So for the designer series paper, these pieces, you can just cut them out. I love the stitching, you know, how I am with this. This is like three and an eighth by one and seven eighths. So you need two of those. And then these are the one that we're going to use for the front of the box. This one's two and a quarter by three and a half. So you need two of those. And I am going to share another set that I got. And if you like <laughs> nesting, dies you're gonna love this one because this is what that's from this piece is one and a half by two and an eighth and they are the nesting nested essential dies but look at these dies y'all i'm going to be making a really cute box in the near future with this i don't know if it's will be this month during the christmas in july but we'll see and so that one is this one that goes around here but look how great these are and they're all stitched as well all right, so all the inspiration sheet will be on my blog, along with the where you can print it and download it and print it. And so it's on my blog at stampingwithamori.com. If you're new, please subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. Don't forget, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up because that really helps my channel and share because all of those things really help me and I would so appreciate it. So thank you all for that. All right, so this is all that we're using for this. So let's go ahead and stamp our truck and get all that ready to go. So I'm gonna show you two ways that we can, you can do this because you can do it the easy way or you can color it with your blends, which what I'm gonna do is color it with the blends, but I'm gonna show you how you can color it very quickly. So I'm going to do two different trucks here because I want to show you both ways. And let's go ahead and put our wheels on here. We'll do the black for the wheels. Now be careful that both sides are lined up on this because I do get it off a little bit sometimes like I did on that one. So hopefully I'll get this one better. If your head is right over it, it's so much easier to see. So yeah, that's much better. 
And then I'm gonna, this is the other part of the truck. Let's close this up because we won't need that. And I'm gonna use cherry cobbler. I do like the darker cherry cobbler uh, than a stark real red. The cherry cobbler looks more like the older version. I'm gonna do it on this one. And you just color it really quickly by just using this other stamp. And it looks dark, but it'll dry lighter. And then the Christmas tree, we will, I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and stamp that because I'm going to cut that out for the truck that I'm going to color here. So I'm going to use shaded spruce and I do need my memento black back because I like to do the outline of it in the memento black. I'm going to put that here. First time I did this, I put it upside down like I just did here and I'm going to cut it out, but um, it looks like it's upside down and this one it actually is upside down but I'm gonna cut it out and we're gonna use it for this truck so when you look at it, it you have to figure out the orientation <laughs> it's a little bit tricky I don't know it may just be me but we'll see alright so we're gonna go ahead and color this and I am using cherry cobbler for this the light and dark and I am using a little bit of real red because I'm gonna basically color it with real red and then we're going to shade it with the, the uh, cherry cobbler. And then I have here shaded spruce, light and dark. And then I'm just using this little gray, light gray granite for like the around the back part here and around the window a little bit. So I'm just going to do that first to make it look like it's kind of metal there. I'll do the back window as well. And you know what, I, since this is small, I'm going to go ahead and bring it in and I'll bring it up here for you so you can see it a little bit better. I know some of you really like to watch me color, so if you don't, you can speed through this part. So I'm going to use the dark real red. And we're just going to, I like the other side better. And I know it's just easier for me to use this little bullet point here for this. So I'm basically going to color the rest of the whole thing real red. And I'll speed through this part so you don't have to watch me just color the, the truck real red. And then I'll show you how I'm going to just shade it a little bit. Okay, so now that I have the truck all in real red, and this is the dark, I'm going to go ahead and use the dark cherry cobbler, and I'm going to just shade some of these areas. Let me see, I'll do it this way. Maybe you can see my hand won't be in the way so much. I'm going to use the light cherry cobbler and we're going to just kind of blend these in. It's best to do one section at a time. I just find it so much easier to do, but for the video, it's just hard for me to do one section at a time or I'll, I'll be here all day coloring this, y'all. So. I'm not doing like it's not anything fancy but you can see the difference and you can see this lightened up a little bit you can do it in your real red if you like it I just like the older look of it it kind of looks more like the old farmers trucks all right and then I'm gonna grab the dark again and I'm just gonna do a little bit more um, shading nothing to just around here the wheel of the truck And I think I'm going to leave it like that. Just a little bit down there. And I forgot to add a tiny bit of the gray at the front. I forgot that little tiny part there. All right. So that's all I'm doing with that. So we have our punch here. And it's going to cut it out. So we just need to punch them out. I love that we have this punch.
And you can see all the little pieces. If you want to just put it together, you can see this will be like for around the wheels. And then they have the little circles for the wheel itself. But you want to do the wheel and then that piece over. And you can stamp all, you can stamp these as well, like the wheels on here. All right, so now I do have to fussy cut this tree because we don't have anything, a die or anything for it. And you can make a bunch of trees if you're going to do a lot of these and use your brother's scanning cut for it. So I'm going to just fussy cut it and I'll speed through this part. Okay, so we have our little truck and our, our little tree. I'm going to zoom you back out because I almost forgot again. And let's get you where you need to be. There we go. We'll scoot these out of the way. We're going to set these aside for right now. And we're going to do our box. So I'm going to use my trimmer this time. Look, y'all, we have the scoring blades again. So if you lost your scoring blade or if it wasn't working good, you can order the scoring blades. It is in the online exclusive part, so <laughs> you might want to grab it if you need them. All right, so let's go ahead and score this piece right here. We are going to score first on the four and a quarter, four and a half inch side. And you're going to score it at one. I'm going to score it on this side because I always find it's easier for me to score it on this side. And then you're going to do it at three and a half. Or it's one inch on each side. I did mark my scoring blade because I don't want to use, I'm so used to just having the cutting blade. I put an S here so I don't forget. <laughs> Who knows, I'll probably cut anyway. But on the five inch side, you're gonna score it at two. It's really easy, this box. And three. All right, so that is all our scoring. So we're gonna cut this, and we are gonna cut on these sides. I'll go ahead and cut in on these a little bit so they fit in our box a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to grab my bone folder. We're going to sharpen all these. This goes together really quick, y'all. If you have these rectangles, stitched rectangles, you can run a bunch through and it will go together really quickly. I'm going to use my stamp and seal plus. Always use the plus if you want this if you're giving it to somebody. Don't use this regular seal. It just won't hold together very long. These will hold together forever. I've had some a few years old and it's and they're still together. So we're just putting that together like that. We're going to add our matte pieces here to these front pieces. I think I'll use wet glue for this. You can use whatever side you want. I just like like the candy cane stripe. In fact, I need to order more of this designer series paper already. I don't have any. Our holiday catalog has not come out yet, so I don't have any Christmas paper. So, so this was the best paper that I could find that looked Christmassy. And we are going to add this. I'm going to add it to the front here. You can go ahead and punch your holes first. It might be a little bit easier. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So this piece right here is about three inches, so I'm going to I'm going to punch it at one and a half. And I'll link this again in the the description because it's so good, y'all. This little, and I've had it for years. They have a new one out now. Whoa. Got that on the wrong, I had it on two. Almost messed that up. All right, so there's our little holes. And we're gonna add it now. So just center it on that side. 
And then you're going to do the same on this one. Put your holes at the top, of course, because that's where our ribbon is going to go. And then we're going to go ahead and let's stamp our sentiment on here. The sentiment that I'm using is the Special Delivery, and I'm using the Shaded Spruce. By the way, y'all, you can get these all now. They are on the online exclusives. They are not in a catalog. So if you shop at my shop, in the search bar, just put online exclusives, and they all should come up, all the online exclusives. And there are a lot of things on there that are not in the catalog. So check that out. Stampin' Up! started doing this, I guess, maybe a year or so ago. About a year ago, I guess. And then we're going to put our truck down here. And I'm also going to pop up with some mini dimensionals, the tree. This is my biggest struggle, y'all, getting these little mini backings off. And then our tree is going to go here. I should have moved that down. Let me move that down a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Okay, now I am going to glue this to the front of our box. And we will add our ribbon and we will be done. It's really an easy box, y'all. These would be such cute party favors or just coworker gifts, friend gifts. Just fill it with your favorite goodie, even a small gift, and you are ready to go. So I am using this gold um, satin edged ribbon. I just thought it was festive. So that's why I decided to use this one. I need a little bit more to get a bow out of that. And let's tie our bow here. Ties really, really nicely to this ribbon. It's real pretty. And I'm going to grab my ribbon scissors. I'm going to trim those ends. I need to pull this one a little shorter so my bow is even. It looks a little bit lopsided there. You know me. As long as I've been doing videos, I don't know how many years, I still will struggle with getting a perfect bow sometimes. But I, I've gotten better, okay? I'm, I've gotten better. But there you have it. So I hope you enjoy this, y'all. It's so cute. It's really fun to do. And it's a really cute one for just giving a sweet um, Christmas or holiday treat. But like I said, this can be used for so many occasions, this little truck. So check it out. You can shop on my blog at stampingwiththemore.com. Here's the July host code. If you use it, I would appreciate it. It's right up at the top where, you, where it says host code, and you just click on that, and you can enter the host code. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.